I welcome you all to the session of thermal engineering basic and applied and today we shall discuss about the comparison of two stroke and four stroke engines. In fact, in the last class we have started our discussion on this particular module that is the internal combustion engine and we have seen different parts of an internal combustion engine and we have also discussed the requirement of a few parts for the you know SI engine which in fact we have discussed that those parts are not needed for the operation of the CI engine. And finally, we had discussed about the classification of the internal combustion engine. So, now uh, we had seen that you know internal combustion engine can be classified depending on the types of combustion that is SI and CI engine and we have briefly discussed about the initiation of combustion whether it is initiated by an external agent like spark plug or the combustion process is initiated by utilizing the pressure and temperature of the compressed air that is you know when fuel auto ignites we have discussed. And finally, we had seen that another class of you know another classification is based on the number of stroke that is two stroke and four stroke engine. So, let us now briefly discuss about the stroke so rather several strokes then we can discuss the classification rather we can have the comparison of two stroke and four stroke engine. So, if we try to draw the schematic of an internal combustion engine so this is top dead center and if we say this is the piston and this piston is connecting you know connected to this you know crank using this connecting rod and piston is having you know to and fro movement in the inside the cylinder. So, this is in you know engine cylinder. Say uh, this is the bottom dead center. So, we had seen this is intake manifold, we had identified this intake manifold, this is intake valve. this is spark plug right and this is exhaust manifold of course there is a valve which is you know attached here. So, this is exhaust valve. Okay. Now, uh, this you know spark plug will not be there if it is a CI engine and through this if I mark using this color. So, this is air fuel mixture air plus fuel. So, this is charge and this is for the SI engine and this air fuel mixture will be taken to the cylinder by 
you know fixing another important device that is carburetor essentially to provide homogeneous mixture of air and fuel, but if it is the shearing in then only through this intake manifold fresh air will be inducted into the engine cylinder and spark plug will not be there instead of the spark plug there will be a fuel nozzle. So, that is what we have discussed in the last class. Now, let us identify different strokes if we identify different stroke. So, first stroke is intake. So, intake stroke why because only after knowing different strokes we can go for the classification based on the number of stroke. So, intake stroke condition is inlet valve is open exhaust valve is closed ok. Piston comes from T D C to B D C and consequence is fresh air and fuel is inducted into the cylinder. Okay. Let me tell you again if it is the CI engine only fresh air should be inducted into the cylinder during intake stroke, but what we had drawn here is the schematic of a spark ignition engine and spark plug is there. So, definitely intake manifold is there to supply air fuel mixture rather homogeneous mixture of air and fuel. So, this is what now question is piston is travelling from T D C to B D C during the stroke and that is essentially you know that when we start our engine we start using either we would like to drive the engine using electric motor. So, the motor will try to rotate the crank shaft and as a result of which piston will be you know taken from T D C to B D C and while piston is coming from T D C to B D C this valve exhaust valve is closed we are creating a vacuum inside the cylinder and the pressure difference between these two I mean uh, the intake manifold exit from where air is coming. So, intake manifold and this uh, uh, the point which is there inside the cylinder the pressure difference between these two locations is the driving force to have a continuous flow of air fuel mixture and that is how air fuel mixture will be inducted into the cylinder. Next stroke is you know a compression stroke. Okay. So, this is the compression stroke. So, what we can see in the beginning of the compression stroke piston is at B D C. So, naturally piston will travel from B D C to T D C. Here let me write that in this stroke both valves are closed. So, both intake and exhaust valve these two valves are closed piston is now travelling from B D C to T D C. You can understand in the beginning of the compression stroke enter space is filled with air fuel mixture if it is SI engine or it is filled with only air fresh air if it is a CI engine. So, whether it is the substance whether it is air fuel mixture or fresh air that substance will be compressed during the compression stroke and that is why the name is compression stroke. So, basically the amount of air fuel mixture that is there inside the cylinder or if it is the CI engine then only fresh air that air fuel mixture or fresh air will be compressed as piston travels from B D C to T D C. So, that is why 
uh, this known as compression stroke. Consequence is, you know, consequence is either air fuel mixture or fresh air will be compressed. Okay. So, basically what we are what we can see that at the end of the compression stroke piston is at TDC and entire charge or fresh air will be compressed and that particular air fuel mixture or air would be you know residing in this particular volume. So, if we try to give or mark this particular volume. So, this is the volume right. So, what we can see so this is the compressed air fuel mixture or air volume okay next stroke is the power stroke let me write here so this is the power stroke okay and here also both valves are remaining closed Okay. Let me tell you because now when the compressed air fuel mixture or compressed air is occupying in this space and that is known as clearance volume. So, this is also known as this volume is known as clearance volume. Okay. What we need to do at the end of the compression stroke. So, when piston is approaching TDC towards rather piston is you know approaching towards TDC during compression stroke rather you know at the end of the compression stroke we need to switch on the spark plug if it is the SI engine and if it is the CI engine as I told you that the thermodynamic state of the compressed air will be utilized to initiate combustion. So, if it is the SI engine com, you know, when piston is towards the TDC at the end of the compression stroke we need to have some arrangement. So, that spark plug switch should be on and the you know spark plug the spark which will generate over here that will try to you know initiate combustion and the entire charge will be combusted and as a result of which you know that combustion that is chemical you know basically chemical reaction hydrocarbon fuel is which is used. So, the chemical reaction is exothermic reaction and because of which we will be having high temperature and pressure and that high pressure and temperature will create a thrust on the piston face and that particular thrust I mean that thrust that will be produced will allow piston to go back from TDC to BDC and that is the power stroke. So, that means we are getting power. So, power stroke is let me write here that piston travels from TDC to BDC. due to the thrust I am writing produced because of the combustion because of the combustion due to thrust acting on the piston face. 
So, I have written produce because of the conversion within bracket because you know that the conversion will be completed and the temperature and pressure that will be there because of the combustion that pressure and temperature will create a thrust on the piston phase high pressure and high temperature and that thrust will be acting on the piston phase. Resultant effect is piston will travel from TDC to BDC and that is the power stroke. So, this is very important stroke and uh, that is only the stroke from where we are getting power okay. and last stroke is last stroke is exhaust. Let me tell you, you know we can understand that we need to initiate combustion if it is SI engine combustion will be initiated ignition by using spark plug. So, we need to ignite the compressed fuel air mixture by having uh, by, by, by the spark which is produced by the spark plug and that you know uh, you know uh, initial ignition will try to you know ignite the total comp, you know uh, charge and entire combustion will be completed and as a result of which we can see that the piston will travel from TDC to BDC. If it is the CI engine as I told you we need to design the engine in such a way that the pressure and temperature which is developed at the end of the compression stroke pressure and temperature of the fresh air of course, there is no fuel. So, that temperature and pressure is good enough to initiate combustion of the fuel when fuel is spread by using a fuel nozzle here. So, in a CI engine instead of a spark plug we will have a fuel nozzle and that nozzle will allow fuel to you know uh, 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 spray. So, basically fuel nozzle will you know nozzle will be designed in such a way that we will be getting fuel in the form of a spray. So, that fuel spray when the fuel is sprayed inside this you know engine cylinder and to be precise in this particular space where compressed air is there and that compressed air temperature and pressure is so high that the moment when fuel is spread it will ignite and that it is because of this self ignition auto ignition entire combustion will be completed and as a result of which the thrust that will produce will allow piston to go back from TDC to BDC and that is related to the CI engine. But what we can understand at the end of the power stroke piston is again at BDC and both valves are remaining closed entire cylinder space is now filled with is filled with what combustion products because when piston is travelling from TDC to BDC you know we have to ensure that total combustion will be completed and entire space is now filled with the combustion products. What we need to do? We need to remove all these gases which is produced because of the combustion from the engine cylinder and next cycle that is intake process again will start. So, when piston is at BDC at the end of the power stroke what we need to do? We need to have some arrangement so that intake valve will remain closed exhaust valve will open. So, let me write intake valve is closed exhaust valve is open right and piston is travelling from BDC to TDC right. Consequence is combustion products gases will leave from the
engine cylinder, right. So, what we can see piston is travelling from BDC to TDC and the space that was occupied by the combustion gases or products will now that movement of the piston will allow combustion gases or products to go out through the exhaust manifold because the exhaust valve is open now. And when piston is near to TDC you can see that all combustion products will not I mean it is not possible to remove all the combustion products because this combustion products that will be there within the clearance volume that will remain there. And but 80 percent of the combustion product or 90 percent of the combustion gases will leave because of the movement of the piston from BDC to TDC and that is the end of the exhaust stroke. So, this is one cycle what you can see if you try to give name. So, this is one stroke, this is number 2, this is number 3 and this is number 4. So, you can identify we have identified 4 different strokes and these 4 strokes constitute one cycle. So, what we can understand? in a 4 stroke engine we will be having 2 revolution of the crankshaft and for such you know an engine I mean 4 stroke engine to complete one cycle there will be 2 revolution of the crankshaft and we are getting only 1 power stroke. Intake, compression, power and exhaust. So, there are 4 different strokes that we have identified, but out of these 4 different strokes only one stroke is the power stroke remaining other 3 strokes are the idle strokes. So, you know what we need to do the power we are getting from the power stroke will remain stored in the flywheel, flywheel will remain stored the power and will supply power to execute remaining 3 other ideal strokes. So, it is the process by which I mean we have identified the processes and the you know events are you know repeated you know to complete several other cycles. So, basically the process is spontaneous and per one cycle there will be two revolution, one power stroke vis a vis three ideal strokes and the power that we are getting that will remain stored. So, power we are getting at the crankshaft and this crankshaft is connected to the flywheel. So, a part of that power will be utilized to execute 3 other ideal strokes and these sequences we can understand that intake, compression, power and exhaust. So, these events will be you know repeated to complete several other cycles and this is uh, what is the 4 stroke engine. Let me tell you once again making use of this particular schematic we have discussed about 4 different strokes for a SI engine. If it is these 4 strokes are same even for the CI engine provided spark plug is replaced by a fuel nozzle and this intake manifold will be will supply only fresh air. Now, this is 4 different strokes we have identified. So, what about two stroke engine? So, what we can understand from this analysis is that in a 4 stroke engine in a 4 stroke engine uh, two revolution of crank per cycle. In a four stroke engine we have identified two revolution of crank per cycle right and we have also identified one power stroke versus 3 idle strokes 
right. Now, question is what about two stroke engine? So, this is what we have discussed uh, for a four stroke engine. For two stroke engine, you can understand that only two strokes will be there because uh, name itself is telling like this. So, let us now draw the cylinder engine cylinder. So, this is exhaust port and this is inlet port, right. This is you can see definitely spark plug. So, definitely we are going to discuss about two stroke SI engine. So, we know you need to know the occurrence of two different strokes and also we have identified four different stroke for a four stroke engine. So, we know all different processes right intake, compression, power that is combustion and the exhaust. So, if we need to have to and from to and from movement of the piston inside the cylinder and that reciprocating motion will be converted by the rotary one using this crank and connecting rod mechanism. We need to have all this, we need to take fresh air during intake stroke, we also need to have combustion or compression as well as combustion and finally, exhaust. So, by making use of only two different strokes, how it is possible to execute all these processes in a two stroke engine that is what we need to understand first. So, what we can see that this is inlet port through which air plus fuel mixture will be there. So, that is charge if it is C i engine then only air. So, through this intake port air fuel mixture will be supplied to the cylinder, but if it is C i engine only air that is what we have discussed uh, many times. What we can see you know that the piston is having to and fro movement and when piston is at this I mean when piston is here in this location this inlet and exhaust port are closed. When piston is in this configuration, so you know this is I am telling uh, another location say uh, 2 2 and this is 1 prime 1. So, when piston is coming from 1 1 prime to 2 2 prime, this intake main intake port is uncovered, this port opens you know. So, let us assume that because of the combustion say this is top dead center. So, T d c and say this is you know B d c. So, when piston is coming from T d c to B d c during power stroke the moment when piston just uncovers the in inlet port inlet part inlet port opens also exhaust port exhaust port opens. So, these two ports are closed when piston is at 1 1 when piston is coming from 1 1 to 2 2 prime 1 1 prime to 2 2 prime during power stroke these two ports open. So, these two ports open now 
what we can see that air fuel mixture is somehow if we can have some pressurized system to supply charge or only air through this inlet port to the engine cylinder. So, when piston is coming from TDC to BDC during power stroke entire space is now filled with combustion products that we have seen. When it uncovers this inlet port, inlet port will open, exhaust port also will open and if we allow you know or if we supply air fuel mixture by a pressurizing system, then air fuel mixture will try to you know remove all the combustion gases that is there inside the cylinder through this exhaust port. So, what we can understand by a pressurizing system, pressurized mechanism, what we can I mean understand that air fuel mixture will be inducted into the cylinder, that air fuel mixture so simultaneously will remove the combustion gases that is there inside the cylinder. So, combustion gases those are there inside the cylinder will go out from the cylinder with a simultaneous induction of air fuel mixture through this intake manifold. So, that means we can understand intake and exhaust these two processes are occurring simultaneously. So, we are taking air fuel mixture through this intake manifold using a pressurizing system and that in air fuel mixture, pressurized air fuel mixture will allow combustion gases to leave out to leave from the cylinder through, the, through this exhaust manifold, exhaust port. So, now entire space is filled with air fuel mixture, fresh air fuel mixture or air if it is the CI engine. And then when piston is again coming from 2 to prime to 1 1 prime that is BDC to TDC, the moment when piston crosses this in you know inlet and exhaust port these two valves are closed and as if the piston is compressing the fresh air fuel mixture or fresh air and when it is coming towards TDC we switch on the spark plugs and we you know ignite the fuel. So, we can un understand the compression process when piston is coming from 2 to prime to 1 1 prime that is BDC to TDC or BDC to TDC. When piston just crosses these two ports, these two valves are getting closed and the inducted fresh air mixture will be compressed. When the piston is at TDC that means, compressed air is occupying in this clearance volume by using this spark plug if it is a SI engine or by utilizing the temperature and pressure of the compressed air itself for the CI engine, we can complete the combustion and it is because of this combustion the thrust that will produce will allow the piston to go back from TDC to BDC that is the power stroke. So, we have identified power stroke and compression stroke, but when the piston is when the piston is crossing this inlet port and exhaust port during the power stroke these two valve will these two ports will open and simultaneous induction of air fuel mixture by making use of a pressurizing system will allow combustion gases to go out from the engine cylinder. So, this is again I mean this is automatic. So, we can I, we can identify that intake and exhaust strokes these two strokes are basically occurring by you know there is no special these two strokes. So, induction of air fuel mixture is good enough to remove all the combustion gases those are there inside the cylinder through this exhaust port and then we can identify the compression stroke and the power stroke. So, these are two different strokes we have identified in the context of two stroke engine. Let me tell you when air fuel mixture is coming through this inlet port right, maybe we are uh, supplying using any pump and that fuel, fuel air mixture will allow combustion gases to go out. So, to ensure that combustion products, combustion gases those are there in the remote corner should leave. Otherwise, what will happen you know that residue of combustion gases will mix with fresh air fuel mixture and the combustion efficiency will drop. So, to ensure that the combustion gases from the remote corners will go out 
with a simultaneous induction of air fuel mixture or fresh air, special arrangement is done. And what is that special arrangement? You know, if that is the engine, this is the piston and So, this is basically like this. So, this is known as crowning. So, this is crowning, this special geometrical arrangement is done. So, that when fresh air fuel mixture is coming, if it is the CI engine or fresh air, that fresh air fuel mixture or air will be allowed to move in this direction and while it is moving in this direction, it will. So, we can understand this particular geometrical configuration will allow the combustion gases which are there in the remote corner to go out from the engine cylinder. This arrangement is necessary because in that case, we can remove the combustion gases from the remote corners and we also can reduce the possibility of the reduction of the combustion efficiency because of the dilution of the fresh air fuel mixture with the residue. So, this is special arrangement and this arrangement is known as crowning. So, this special arrangement is necessary to remove the combustion gases from the remote corners of the engine cylinder. Okay. If we cannot remove combustion efficiency will drop because the residue will try to dilute the fresh air fuel mixture or fresh air. So, this is what is the you know operation of the two stroke engine. So, instead of four different strokes we could identify two different strokes and the you know uh, cycle will be completed. So, what we can understand one per stroke per cycle wherein only one revolution. So, in a in there are only one revolution of the crankshaft in one cycle. So, what we have un understood that there are two revolution of the crank per cycle, there is only one revolution of the crank per cycle and in that we have only one power stroke. So, you can understand per cycle there is one power stroke. In this case per cycle, so basically in this particular arrangement, the number of occurrence of power stroke consequently the power output is expected to be double that of a to that of a four stroke engine. Because in one power stroke versus one ideal stroke, so and that too in a one revolution of the crank. So, in this case you understand that for a in a four stroke engine two revolution of the crank per cycle and one power stroke. So, engine is getting sufficient time to cool down. So, here we are having three ideal strokes for one power stroke. So, power which is produced inside the cylinder will definitely increase the temperature of different parts of the engine cylinder right or engine. And since in this case we can understand there are three other ideal strokes. So, you know uh, engine is getting enough time to cool down, but here it is not a case. So, what we need to do? We can understand that one power stroke vis a vis one ideal stroke. So, the occurrence of power stroke is also very high and consequently the power output is also very high. And if power output is very high then the components you know will be more prone to high temperature and that is why the speed of this two stroke engine is reduced that is one. Number two is what we can understand that when air fuel mixture is you know drawn into the engine cylinder using a system pressurizing system combustion gases are leaving, but we cannot really eliminate the possibility of removing rather possibility of loss of some amount of air fuel mixture with the combustion gases. So, though we are doing this particular arrangement, in this arrangement we are trying to remove the combustion gases from the remote corner, 
but some amount of air fuel mixture fresh air or fresh air fuel mixture will also go out with the combustion gases from the engine cylinder and that is why it is it is not economically you know uh, viable. So, from the perspective of the fuel economy true stock engines are not you know suitable because somehow we cannot somehow there will be certain amount of loss of air fuel mixture or fresh air when that air fuel or fresh air fuel mixture or fresh air is used to eliminate to to, to, uh, to you know remove. So, basically air fuel mixture or fresh air is used to remove the combustion gases from the cylinder. So, while the combustion gases are leaving that combustion gases also will carry certain amount of air fuel fresh air fuel mixture or fresh air and that is how engine efficiency will reduce. So, these two are very important points. So, if we try to you know summarize what we have discussed, we have discussed today different strokes of a four stroke engine whether it is a SI or CI engine. If it is a SI engine, we have discussed that spark plug will be there and carburetor will be there. For the CI engine, carburetor will not be there and instead of a spark plug will have a fuel nozzle. right? Then we have also identified two different strokes in a two stroke engine. The difference between four stroke and two stroke engine is that in a four stroke engine, there are four different strokes one power stroke versus there are three ideal strokes. So, engine is getting sufficient time to reduce the temperature of several components because during power stroke the power which is produced that excessive rise in temperature will increase the temper temperature of several components of the engine. So, that is why we had seen in the last class we uh, there is a schooling system. So, to reduce the temperature of the engine cylinder, but for the two stroke engine expected rise of the temperature of several components of engine is very high because only one power stroke vis a vis one ideal stroke and that is why and also we had seen that here you know there is one revolution per cycle and in one cycle there is one power stroke. So, power stroke and consequently the power output is theoretically appears to be double to that of a four stroke engine. That is why the speed of a two stroke engine is reduced and also we had discussed that there is a possibility of the removal of fresh air fuel mixture or fresh air depending on the type of engine whether it is SI engine or CI engine with the combustion gases during this simultaneous induction as well removal process and that will lead to a reduction in the engine efficiency. So, with this I stop here today and we shall discuss our we shall continue our discussion in the next class. Thank you. Mm -hmm.